We're here today in an abandoned uh, baseball stadium. This stadium has not this exact one, but a stadium in this spot has been in use since 1926 up until 2014. The last game was played here in 2014. It was home to a minor league uh, baseball team. It got completely revamped in 2002, and it's a really nice stadium, but for no longer than it's been empty, it has been really trashed. So let's go check it out. We came to get our tickets, but today's game is sold out, completely packed. Looks like they've completely disassembled the HVAC units. There's one of the panels off of one of them. Here's the stadium in all of its glory. You can see the field's overgrown, the sponsor signs are falling off. The bleachers are, some of them's completely missing, some's falling in. This would have been the concession stand area here, I'm guessing. Pretty neat old coke cooler there. The lid's missing off of it though. The walk-in coolers are still in Those here. Those are very easy to disassemble and sell the panels off. I'm surprised no one's disassembled them and stole them yet. Every bit of the electrical has been completely ripped out. The vent hood's still left in here. That's about the only thing they've left of the kitchen equipment and the water heater's still here. completely demolished. All the sinks are busted, mirrors are busted, urinals ripped off the wall. They left the lighting fixtures. That's about it. You can see they've left several cases of the soap dispensers. Of all the stuff they've stolen, they're leaving the valuable, easy, sellable stuff behind. Just going for the copper, scrap metal. We actually got some light in this one because they've completely ripped the HVAC unit off the roof. Now this one's full of paper towel dispensers. The other one was full of hand soap. This bin. Looks like this was the storage for the uniforms. You can see there's still some of the uniforms left in here. I'm guessing it wasn't a ball player. I hope not, because they only made $230. This is the locker room. Still got the lockers in it. There's their TV, entertainment center. And we got the remote to the TV. At one time, this has been on fire. It's got smoke damage in here. Don't look like there's anything serious probably since it's been abandoned. You can see one of the last games was in 2014. And this is 2018, so really, for this place to be as trash as it is, it hasn't been empty that long. A lot of marker boards in here. 
It's like someone else's office. It's got a desk. This was a big office. This may have been a office. Looks like it may have been the accounting office. To the field. Another marker board. Business cards. what's left of a cubicle. This would have been one of the box office seats. I don't think anyone's gonna be paying top dollar for this anymore. I don't think that's necessarily true. credit cards. For what? I'm not sure. This would have been another concession area it looks like. You can imagine on a Saturday afternoon this would have been a place to come and relax and watch a game. Not the case anymore though. We're not cats personnel but we're gonna go anyways. Pretty flooded down here in the dugout. I guess we'll be going down there. This is the view the third base player would have seen. You can just imagine the stands being packed full of fans. Set it completely empty like they are now. This was the cat, so of course they gotta have a litter box. This is the back side of the scoreboard. Let's see right through there is the stadium. This would have been the bar where you could have got a beer, paper coat beverage. And we're still in line. So let's have all make a trip. Here's the menu in case you get hungry. Another old storage building here. Not much in this one though. Another one over here we can go check out. Here's the team's old batting cages. Pretty much. Got some of the spare parts for the bleachers here. Seat backs and seats, cup holders. I'm sure they probably got broken and damaged quite a bit, so they had to keep extras for repair. You can see here the scrappers have completely stolen all the aluminum plates out of the walkway that went up into the bleachers. Looks like we've got some kind of maintenance building or something over here. I think that ceiling fan's got a broken arm. This kind of shows you how unintelligent thieves are. They've ripped out $10 worth of copper probably there. 
but left the hundred dollars worth of two by sixes that's laying here. There's an old gate, it's got a baseball on top of it. That's pretty neat. Let's see if we got any mail. Nope, nothing today.